Hello and praise the Lord and God bless you. This is Pastor Stephanie and I want to bring you a very brief word in season today. Today we have entered into the new month of May. It's a fifth month of the year and my God, how much has happened since we have started. But we thank God that we have entered into this new month alive and well and we continue to hold on to his word. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before your presence, Lord, and we just thank you for this new month, and we thank you for your word, God. We pray that you will bless your word to our hearts and glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. You know, the the word of God says in St. John chapter 1, verse 16, it says, out of the fullness, out of his fullness, we have received grace in place of grace already given in the new living the New Living Version says, from his abundance, we have all received one gracious blessing after another. You know, as we enter into this fifth month, we want to thank God for the grace. You know, the number five represents grace. It, it represents, you know, favor. And I pray this month that as we begin to enter into this fifth month which will end which will lead us to towards the closing of the end of the first half of the year that the grace of god will be available to us you know brothers and sisters and my friends you know sometimes we have been going through this year and many times we become distracted with the many things that are happening around us but you know those who fear the lord we have the opportunity we have the we have the ability to tap into this grace that god has given us you know isaiah 59 says so shall there fare the name of the lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when this enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the lord shall lift up a standard against him you know we have been through so much in the last year and the last 12 months has been rough but one thing we do know and we can truly testify that those of us who trust in God, that he has preserved us, hallelujah, that his grace has kept us, he has brought us a mighty long way. And, you know, even though the enemy has come in like a flood, many of us, we are able to testify that the spirit of God has continued to lift up a standard. He has continued to move us from glory to glory to glory, hallelujah. And so today I want to encourage somebody that wherever you find yourself, that you should put your yourself in the hand of the master put your hands in his hands this god of grace this god who has given us an inheritance among those who are sanctified if we allow him then he will help us to see the end of this month and the end of this year by god's grace hallelujah you know as we continue to to look around us many of you might be going through struggles some people have still been out of a job for the last 12 months they have not seen their way out but some of us have also started new businesses our businesses have grown our our finances have prospered and so there is indeed there is evidence that the grace of god does work and it continues to work for those who will and allow him to to work on their behalf hallelujah and so today i want you to, to remember that accord as Job said when they cast you down and you God shall say exalt with exaltation will come then he will save the humble person if we should just humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God then I am sure that when he is ready he will exalt us you know sometimes we, we the word of God says my people perish because of lack of knowledge we do not trust God to supply our needs we do not trust him to to be the one who goes ahead of us to make a way but as he said that when the enemy comes in to steal to rob to kill and to destroy then the spirit of the lord god almighty will lift up a standard against the enemy hallelujah i remember when jesus was here on earth and he was walking with the 12 and he he said to them oh my i'm sending you out like sheep among wolves hallelujah and they went out and they you know he told them bring no purse no wallet no sword with you and every house you enter in you will give your peace but if they do not receive you then you will dust the, the, the your feet off and you will take your peace back and you will move to the next place today i pray that even as we enter into this new month 
month, that the God of peace will be with you, that the God of grace will be with you. Hallelujah. And that as you go, that you will trust him to be your provision. He will be your provider, your sustainer, your healer, your way maker, your miracle worker, your light in the darkness and all that you need because his word says uh, everything that you need will be added unto you if you would just trust in this God. Hallelujah and amen and praise God. You know, today we just bless God for his goodness and you know, we pray t- today. I just want to bless you even as we bring this to a close today as we have entered into this new month. May God Almighty supply all that you need to go ahead of you in this new month. Yes. Oh, you, oh God, you who knows and understands the times and the seasons. Lord, you know what is already planned for this month and for the year that remains to come. Oh, mighty God, but we pray that you may shift the atmosphere for us, Lord, for you may help us to have better in this season. Shift the atmosphere for better. May you bring us the dew of heaven. May you bring us a change to make our joy complete in this new month. Oh God, for many have been many have been burdened. Oh, according to Exodus 16 and verse 12, the the word of God says, I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them at twilight you will eat meat and in the morning you will be filled with bread. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. Father, we pray today, God, that according to your word, Lord, that at twilight, God, you will cause your people to be eating meat and God, in the morning you will fill us with bread. Oh, we pray that the dew of heaven will speak a, a, a a, a, a word that will bring us our meat and our bread in Jesus name Lord today I want to declare this word to those of us those who are listening including to myself oh God that there will be meat and bread in this month may you almighty God provide what you we need for your children who are crying out to you oh sovereign king of glory Jehovah Jireh the one who is more than enough may you meet us at the point of our needs and we shall know our God and our God will know us and we shall be strong and we will do great exploit in this month ahead oh we pray god that this month will be filled with every divine provision every divine blessing and grace upon grace will be ours according to the word of god from out of your abundance we shall receive one gracious blessing after another father we thank you for hearing us today and we thank you for what you are about to do lord we commit this word into your hands and we just give you glory and honor and praise and we say yes and amen to the will of God Father we pray for those who are listening to us right now who do not know you God we pray that this too shall be their profession their declaration their confession that those who know their God they shall be strong and they shall do great exploits and according to Matthew 6 33 God seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything shall be added unto us and we pray God for those who shall seek you that you will give unto us that which we need that which we desire, O God, and that the dew of heaven will continue to provide bread and meat for your people. Hallelujah. Both physically and spiritually. In the name of Jesus. Father, we overcome every plan of the enemy to cause us to suffer, to be in lack or want. And we just pray now in the name of Jesus that your name shall be a strong tower unto us uh, that the righteous shall run into it uh, and we shall continue to be saved. Lord, we thank you, God, that the entrance of your word shall continue to bring light and life and understanding to the simple and that you will open our eyes to the truth and the reality that you indeed love us and that you will have an everlasting love that will transform us and give us an eternal life. We bless your name now, God, and we thank you for hearing and answering us. Oh God, and we commit this new month into your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we want to thank you for joining us for this very quick word today as we enter into this new month i pray that this word will bring a blessing to you invite someone next time to hear the word of god and that you will continue to seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and that everything that you need in that kingdom will be added unto you so until next time i want to leave the shalom of god with you may the peace of jehovah be upon you and your household whatever you touch may god almighty prosper it may you be in good health and may the the face of God continue to shine upon you, both now and forevermore. This is your friend and your pastor, Stephanie Fletcher So until next time, 
God bless you. Bye-bye for now.